Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr. In what is being described as a milestone achievement, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio has signed a new law that bans employers from asking a job candidate about their salary history. Any employer who violates this new law once it goes into effect in six months will face up to a $250,000 penalty. The ban applies to all potential hires. However, the intentions are to specifically assist women and people of color who have historically been paid less than white males. After signing the legislation, de Blasio stated, The simple fact is that women and people of color are frequently paid less for the same work as their white male counterparts. This bill builds upon the progress we have made to close the pay gap and ensure everyone is treated with the respect they deserve. The wage gap hasn't decreased significantly for nearly a decade. The average woman who works full-time reportedly makes 80% of what her male counterpart makes. And while women make less than men, women of color experience an even greater pay imbalance. If employers continue to base compensation on past salaries, we'll never break this pattern, and the issue of wage discrimination will be perpetual. This is why New York City has become the latest to prohibit the use of salary histories, joining Massachusetts and Philadelphia, why California may be the next state to follow suit, and why Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton introduced the first ever bill to get rid of salary histories across the entire country. The bill is intended to address a real problem, and the hope is that employers will use new practices when it comes to salary discussions, focusing on what the job and candidate is worth on their own, rather than their salary of the past. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and for more stories like this, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For Complex Hustle, I'm Kylie Marr.